Welcome back. I am so, so happy to welcome our dear friend, Dr. Dung Trin, and his uh, student, mm -hmm. her name is Mia Quintana, to our show, and they are speaking from Dr. Trin's philanthropy called tongueout.org. Welcome, guys. So good to see you here today. Thanks so much. Nice to see you. Uh, with that. Well, I had yeah. a lot of fun, Dr. Twin, because you do come and speak with us, and you speak with Ken Goldenberg about yeah. the work that you do with Irvine Clinical Research, right. yeah. which is actually brain technology, right. how to make your brain better. <laughs> but you also have this wonderful philanthropy, a mission yeah. group called tongueout.org, and you go to places like Vietnam and help people yeah. who so desperately need your help. Yeah, we, uh, we just got back from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. uh, Mia was with me. I think we had a group of around 30 Wow! Uh, with that. So we're in between trips. Uh, we're off to Peru in a week. Okay. And then Mia, are you going uh, to Peru? <laughs> Not my monster is, though. But I see Mia right behind us. You have yes. a little friend there. Who is that? Um, her name was Tuk, and she was at one of the orphanages in Vietnam. Oh, that's so wonderful. Now, how long were you in Vietnam this last time? We're there uh, typically about nine days or so, eight, nine days, quick trip. Uh, we every day is busy. Um, we are there first day cataract surgeries for Ooh. about 100 patients. Wait a minute! You land, you get a little sleep, you put some water on the face, and you start cataract surgery. We, we yeah. Land, we go straight to the hospital. Actually. Oh my <laughs> word! You really yeah. go straight to the hospital. So, um, how many cataract surgeries do you think were performed that first day? Remember the number? It's, it's about 100. We did about 100 cataract okay, surgeries. I was going to say, do you think maybe 20? 100? We had about 100, 100. for uh, just blind folks. Uh, in Vietnam, there's no such thing as Medicare. Yes. And so uh, when you get older, if you get cataracts, uh, if you don't have the cash, you just go blind. Oh, my goodness. And so for, uh, believe it or not, for 38 bucks, we can bring sight to a blind person. Thirty-eight dollars. Thirty-eight bucks. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I know in one of your slides we will see yeah. that there were there were the folks that did have the surgery, right. yeah. and it's quite a room full. And we'll see that in just a moment. Yeah. What's happening right here, Mia? Who's this? Um, I actually, um, that's my sister right there. You oh. can see her Hurley shirt. But <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> um, that little girl is drawing on one of the dolls that we brought. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I know that you said the very first day you landed you did yeah. at least a hundred cataract surgeries right. but you're also there to offer not only the medical assistance that is yeah. so desperately needed but also education uh, for, for families and children and you bring supplies to people who desperately need them as well we do we uh, visit leprosy colonies oh my gosh and uh, <laughs> so uh, we do that type of work. We do orphanages. That's uh, wonderful. The leprosy colony is a really interesting experience, right? Mm -hmm. they, uh, Tell me about that. What is interesting? What's the, your first impression, Mia? Was this the first time that you had been to a leprosy co colony? Yes, I've never um, seen anyone with leprosy before, and it was very interesting. And um, and this is your your team? Yeah, yeah. that's my yeah. team. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, with that. But we just go out, and um, they came to us, and we gave them something that they can put on their wrist yes they have no fingers oh and it helps them eat so <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so we have a little uh, velcro uh, strap we yes. call it the yap strap <laughs> and uh, so it straps on and it allows a person with no fingers to be able to insert a utensil in that strap yes. like a spoon or a fork and so yeah they can eat and oh uh, so we distribute those things uh, to patients, yeah. And because, you know, you can read in the Old Testament and the New Testament right. of the Bible about how uh, leprosy colonies were treated right. uh, thousands of years ago. How are these folks treated in this community that you visited? Um, not good. Not they, good. Isolated? Um, they're yeah. isolated and their kids, even though they don't have leprosy and their parents are cured, they are not allowed to go out of the clinic all their life until mm. they die. So. Yeah. They are treated very badly oh my goodness. and pretty much treated like they're invisible. So we got to love on them and make sure that they're feeling, feeling loved there in Vietnam. 
Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. And when you visit, so is this one of the facilities that may have been uh, this, used for the leprosy treatment that you yeah. had? Yeah, this here is a, uh, an orphanage. Oh, this is and an orphanage. This, this is an is orphanage, okay. yeah, yeah. We visited three orphanages and oh, we nice. distribute a lot of supplies. So we have there two. Uh, <laughs> Look at this baby. Two fan yeah. <laughs> Who is that holding the little baby who's getting a kiss? That's, that's Layla, one of our students, oh. uh, with that. And so that's our team who, uh, who went. And uh, so Tongue Out is really like a youth group because half of our team is youth. Really? And the other half are doctors and nurses. Oh and uh, so we take high schoolers along with us and college students. Um, around the world, and that's and our goal. And visiting three orphanages, so you brought right. supplies, yes. you did activities with the kids, loved on those kids, and what else? Were you offering right. some more educational or medical support? Yeah, oftentimes we bring vitamins oh. for, for the children, uh, shoes, clothing, uh, this time we bought a whole bunch of water guns. <laughs> oh, and right here, the picture that we're showing right now, these are the cataract surgery patients. Yes, yes, yes. these are cataract surgery patients. These are post-op oh patients. Goodness. So they have all just had their surgeries, that's why they have a patch on their eye. And, uh, and so we can bring sight to a blind person for $38 in oh Vietnam. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Uh, it that. makes me want to tear up. You're bringing sight to the blind. Yeah. You're bringing healing and nurturing to lepers, and and you're caring for orphans and probably uh, widowed families. And yeah. All of these things our, that we have all been called to do. Our goal really is to to serve the least of these in mm -hmm. society, and so we we look for the least of these, uh, which is the blind, the lepers, the orphans, and uh, we hope to be God's hands and feet. Oh my goodness. Like yeah. And in nine days yeah. in Vietnam, <laughs> you accomplished, of course, the cataract surgeries on day one. Right. Day two was leprosy, leprosy colony. Right. Day three was probably an orphanage. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we launched two uh, English schools this time. <laughs> and you opened a couple of schools? <laughs> yeah, okay. to, uh, to teach English, uh, mainly to uh, their uh, drug addicts, actually, oh, yes. who, who live in halfway homes. Uh, and they just got out of jail. Yes. And one of the difficulties there is to really look for a job. Yes. Uh, and so one of the, the real asset in Vietnam is uh, to know how to speak English. Yes. And yes. so we, we launched that oh, uh, with, uh, with donors from here mm -hmm. who uh, supplied uh, some funds for the teachers and with volunteers from Laguna Woods oh, yes? who actually uh, are signing up to speak conversational English to a Vietnamese person through Skype. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, this is the best community to reach out yes. to. Wonderful people so, here. So Denny Welsh is uh, helping to lead that project. Terrific. And so we, we're hooking up Laguna Woods with <laughs> students in Vietnam. That's incredible. That. Yeah. But the amount of work that you accomplished in nine days, yeah. Mia, did you sleep at all? Uh, Yes, I did. <laughs> you got a little bit of sleep, probably on the plane coming home. But all of this accomplished in nine days. Well, Dr. Tren, you must have been doing this for quite a while with tongueout.org to be able to accomplish so much. Yeah, we're, we're out of the country about five times a year. Wow. Yeah, so. so we're, that we're, is incredible. Got it down to a science. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And yeah. so you said your team were, the, it was a team of professionals, but also students. How large was this team that you took to Vietnam this last time? We uh, took a team of 30. 30, okay. Yeah. So 15 students. Yeah. Right. And Mia, did you know many of them before you left? Yes, I knew everyone on the trip. You mostly. did. Yeah. So we got out and I had friends. So. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> wonderful because you do have to lean on each other for support because yes. it's, it's quite um, an experience yeah. for you. Yeah. Was this one of the first trips you took with tongueout.org? Um, I have been on a day trip to Mexico and I've been to Haiti with um, Tongue Out. Okay. So this was my third trip. Your third trip. Do you feel that your friendships have deepened with the students that accompanied you? Yes, they have, and I've gotten to know them a lot better. What was your takeaway from Vietnam? What's the thing that really sticks out in your mind from your experience there? Um, I think it is to just always be thankful for what you have because um, we take we take it for granted most of the time. Oh, we do. Yeah. Our health, even. Just yeah. mm -hmm. take the, the fact that we're breathing today, we take that for granted. Mm -hmm. Mia, also, 
You met so many people in those nine days in Vietnam. Can you tell me about any of the folks or any of the children that just kind of stick out in your mind? Yeah, I think that little girl that I was holding in my arms, yes. um, her, she was amazing. She looked like, how old do you think she was? You know, she looked real young, like maybe not even in elementary school. How old was she? Six. She was <gasps> six years old, and she had a heart disease, and her parents couldn't pay for it. Oh so um, that's why she was so small. And um, she was just always on me, and she'd always come back to me. Oh, so my that's her. goodness. There yeah. she is. So she was just drawn to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really drawn to your spirit. So what was tongueout.org uh, able to do for and her name is took took so what did you all do for took in the nine days that you were there um we provided basically um air conditioning yes we uh it's not really air, it's a uh, it's called a water fan yes for yes. uh for where she's staying yes and uh and basically, we uh, would provide any uh, vitamins. Uh, mm -hmm. We would drop off uh, supplies, clothing, things of that sort. And then we come back so that we develop relationships with these kids. That's and uh, we get to see them over and over, and they know who we are. Well, and, even uh, though this little girl is, is yeah. tiny for her age, she made a very large impression on you, Mia, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. And Dr. Yeah. Tran, what is your takeaway? You've done so many of these right. trips. But this latest trip to Vietnam, what is the, the impression that you brought home this time? I think um, I just want to make a different one child at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one child at a time. And, and we never know which child we make the biggest impact on yes. with each trip. Yes. But we know that God knows. And we hope that uh, we're uh, making a difference. Um, with that. And your website is so wonderful, tongueout.org, but the name is funny. And yeah. when you take pictures of us here at the, at the crew, right. you want us to put our tongue out That's and take right. a picture with you. But the name is an acronym. It, me it means something. It's to know the, you tell me what it is. Yeah, to, to know God's, uh, to, uh, to need God's unique embrace. To it's need an God's unique embrace. embrace. And out. that's what the tongue yeah. out means. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. And so folks can so. go to tongueout.org yeah. and see online. It's a great website. Thank and see you. all the wonderful work that you've been doing. Yeah. And also learn a little more about you, Dr. Trin. You were a yeah. United States Marine. I, I was, yeah. And I still am. Once and, a Marine, always a Marine. Oh, my father. <laughs> Semper Fi, sir. Semper Fi. My that's father right. had six daughters. We all had to make that's the bed like a United States <laughs> Marine and bounce the quarter off the that's thing. Right. I understand. That's yes, right. absolutely. <laughs> But it's a wonderful yeah. website, and folks can go there to learn more about what you all are doing, what tongueout.org is doing as an organization, and how to be a part of it. Yeah, we would love that, definitely. Yeah. Well, and uh, the community here is already a part of it. Yes. That little doll that uh, the girl was drawing on, Yes. that came from the Kiwanis Club here. Really? Uh -huh, right here in Laguna Woods. Everywhere I go with Tongue Out, the Kiwanis Club would send the dolls with me. That's wonderful. So I, I've taken them to uh, Haiti. Yes. Uh, they're called comfort dolls, mm -hmm. and they're uh, so they're they're blank, they're white, and so yes. the kids get to express themselves by drawing on the dolls, right it's there. Very and nice. uh, oh. and so those are Kiwana dolls <laughs> right here from the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took them to Haiti, we took them to Vietnam, and we'll be taking them to Peru next week. I love hearing that the yeah. residents of Laguna Woods Village really yeah. resonate. Right. with all of the work that you are doing and that they support yeah. you. And if you yeah. want to find out more about tongueout.org, you right. can go right to the website and learn more, maybe even join. Sounds and, great. And uh, become a part of all these efforts. Well, Dr. Tran and Mia, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank it's, awesome. a, it's a blessing to have you here in our community as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. And if you all would like to learn more about tongueout.org, do go to the website. Learn about what Dr. Trin is doing, and you'll see wonderful pictures and read about the mission statement that he has for this organization. And you might even want to take part. You could donate. You could also donate your time, as Laguna Woods residents have done. So we're all always happy to have Dr. Trin with us here on the show. And we're happy to have you with us as well. Please stay tuned, because after this, we'll go visit our friends at the Sawdust Festival. We'll be right back.